Hi everyone, and welcome back to Kills Crazy Kids. First off, let me start by apologizing. I have not been uploading. I had a family emergency and still do. I had to uh, go up to North, uh, to New Jersey for uh, last week for family emergency. And while I was up there, uh, my mom was going through her doll closet. And I don't know if you watched like my my uh, introduction video when I had mentioned that, you know, my mother and I have been collecting dolls for over 30 years. And she bought this doll out and I said, oh my goodness, you still have her? Now, as you see, this is the Barbie Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And it has never been taken out of the box. And it says, uh, Dorothy talks, there's no place like home. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Candace anymore. So I didn't even know that this doll talked. And something over here, it says she lights up. Now, the box has never been opened. Um, it is an original box. It has a little wear and tear here, but the plastic is still intact. Uh, this side, still intact. And this is the back of it. So let me go over the back. Um, it says, tap your heels together three times. There's no place like home. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. And Dorothy's ruby slippers, they actually glow. It says, press down on her heels to hear her talk. Speakers on her chest. Oh, and her lights, oh, her shoes are lighting up, people. Let's see, I did something. But for the batteries, they probably did. Is there a button back here? Look at her shoes. Turn the lights off. See her, they do light up. There's a button in the back. Now, she was saying something. I don't know if you can hear her. I think the batteries are really gone. She was saying something. It's very faint. Very, very faint. Can't hear what she's saying now. And I'm wondering if we ever do open her if we can get the replacement batteries after 20, you know, 24 years ago. But here she is. Oh my goodness, she is so beautiful. At least I was able to show you um, her shoes that light lit up. Now, with Barbie as Dorothy and her magical ruby slippers, you can help her find her way home. And with all of Dorothy's friends, from the Land of Oz, you can play out your favorite scenes from The Wizard of Oz, collect them all. And it doesn't have the year on here, I don't believe. I am trying to, it says 1999 actually on the box. And that's probably about right when I uh, purchased um, this collection. So it's going on about 24 years. And the deal was uh, when I got them, because I have sons, they're grown now, that if I ever had a granddaughter, you know, mom put these up for me and these will go to her. So I am happy to finally uh, get them in my hands um, after almost 24 years. I have not seen them in 24 years. My mom had them tucked away because we kind of figured that they may be worth something, you know, in the future. And uh, 
for my granddaughter and for her granddaughter. So let's take a, a spin. Let me show you uh, the doll. It shows you the sides, the back. Of course, we just went over and all of the collection that you can get, which was five dolls overall. Um, the only thing that my mom uh, made me realize when she uh, gave me the box that we were never able to get the scarecrow. So I am one character short. And here she is up close. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She has the um, blue and white checkered um, dress, the white shirt in blue. And then there is Toto here. She has her signature basket. And there it looks like there is a brush down in the box. And she does have her ruby red shoes on. So, we also have the original price tag. I bought this at Kmart for looks like $21.99. And um, the last time I checked uh, on eBay, uh, these dolls are going for $80 to $100 a piece. So I, I would think after 24 years, uh, we've really did, well, my mom really did good by securing these dolls and, um, you know, putting them up. And to pay $22 back in 1999, that was kind of unheard of uh, for a Barbie. And uh, I know I was not making a lot of money. I had just had my second son, problem. yeah, he was born in 94. I had just had my second son. And um, $22 for a doll, um, like I said, was very, you know, very high. So I'm so glad that I did sacrifice back then and was able to get them. Because the video is going over eight minutes, I will still like to do a part two and perhaps part three so you can see the other three dolls. So here is a up and coming uh, preview of what to expect uh, in the part two video. Hopefully I'll be able to get them all in on part two, but I wanted to do an introduction just to show you uh, the dolls. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you know other doll collectors, please refer them to our channel. It really helps us. And y'all stay blessed and I'll see you in part two.